Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Go Home, which is a new game. It's on Steam and we're going to play. Hold up. So right off the bat, they're using a loop of uh, like crickets or whatever in the background that has someone actually touching the microphone. I'll be quiet for a second so you can hear it. So you can hear that slight rubbing on the microphone. Not great, not a great start, but that's okay. At least they obviously captured some real sound. Um, long press the middle mouse button to pick up the blue square to pave the road. Oh, okay. Welcome to this game. Oh. The only goal in this game is to go home. Let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. Uh, that's that's text to speech, right? Um, and what that means is that they misspelled started. Oops, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I suck. Die. <laughs> Classic. Um, Welcome to this. I was gonna say it every time. Man, this is gonna be a long game if I let's if I started. have to listen to him say, "Let's get started." Yeah, so that doesn't look like there's any way to sprint. Welcome to this game. Oh, there we go. The only goal in this game is to go home. So you can Let's sprint? Okay. It wasn't letting me sprint before, so I thought maybe there wasn't any sprinting allowed. The trick is, is you, you've already got to be going forward before before you press uh, the run button. Otherwise, it doesn't uh, let you run. So if you're if you press shift and then you start walking, you don't you don't run. You actually have to be already walking like that to yeah to do it. Yeah. Okay, but that's okay. We can. Nope, I fell off. Wow, this is uh, not fun. But that's okay. That's so. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna play it. And um, what I might do is fast forward till we get to uh, something interesting. Can I, can I take it from there? Oh, no. It just resets. Okay. I was, I was hoping that maybe I could take it and use it at the next uh, spot, but that's apparently not how this works. Okay. So I will I will fast forward till we get to some, some other stuff. Okay, so the last time I jumped on this thing, uh, it kicked me off for no good reason. So we're going to try the other side, I guess. Oh. Classic. Love it. Welcome uh, to this game. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm having a great time here. Like, honestly, this is so much fun. I will fast forward again. Okay, so I landed on that thing and then it glitched me off of it. That's fantastic. Uh, nothing like a game that we're, you know, that is stupid and hard and then uh, also just glitches you off of things that you've successfully landed on. Absolutely stunning. Love it. 11 out of 10, no notes.
So, one of the things that the game has done, in addition to those dumpsters, oh, st be quiet, nobody cares about what the, what the point of this game is. No one ever, no one's ever going to get to go home. It's not a thing people are going to do. Um, one of the things this game does is that sometimes when you're trying to do, you know, one of the only ways to do this without running into trouble is to jump and then jump, is that it will do like a double land so that when you press jump, it's actually on the land so uh, you actually don't get the jump. We'll see if it does it here. Oh, no. So it also does that. Um, you don't get to grab on or anything. It's Welcome just uh, you either need to clearly grab it or clearly land on top of it. Um, or you miss, you fall, which is fine, except for that you actually, the, the height that that has to be at in order for you to not, um, fall off the next one is, has to be just right, because if it's too low, you don't, there's not enough room for you to get there. Welcome to this game. Um, the only I don't know, man, 13 minutes of this, and I'm already pretty done. I'm pretty, I'm pretty done with the game. It's bad. Um, this is not, this is not a fun activity. I'm not enjoying... Uh, myself, you know, like I sometimes get to hear. We'll see if we, we'll see if we can get to the um the next one, and I can show you guys what I mean by the. Uh... Oh, there's someone over there. So there's like NPCs in here. Well, at least we found something going on. Um. Okay, so uh, we're gonna jump onto this thing, and I think I've ma managed to land it once, but all the other times you just fall off the edge. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing there. Doesn't make any sense. And I'm done, because I'm not gonna keep bashing my head against the wall when the thing that I'm supposed to land on just knocks me off anyway. So let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. Alright, go home. No matter how far you go, never forget the direction home. In this game, your only objective is to go home. Yeah, except for that it's bad. Um, I think I might have figured out what was going on with the, the sprint. I think it's actually on a toggle, um, which sometimes these games do that, which means that uh, you already have to be running so that you can toggle it on because it won't stay toggled on. Um, so the, the way they've coded it is that, yeah, no, that just, see, I'm watching them play and they're playing on further things like things after this, um, except for they seem to have no problem running. Um, and it just, it's just not very interesting, man. Like, who cares? It's really boring. Like, what is he? He's hiding, and the, so there's a guy chasing him. So you get killed by that guy for the, you know, the first time, and then you have to go back and do all of the things that you've just done again. And you're just jumping on identical assets over and over and over, over a big empty sky. There just doesn't seem to be... It feels... It's like someone was at home and they decided to make a game with some assets and they saw the success of games like Only Up, which were about climbing, um, and decided to make one that wasn't quite Only Up and just, it's its bad, it's not fun. Um, honestly, uh, first person parkour is annoying at the best of times and when you can't even grab on to anything. Like, I mean, at least in Only Up and all of the clones that we've played recently, at least in those, if you if you hit the side of it, you usually grab onto it and you climb up. This one, if you miss the, the platform, you fall in, you're done. Um, the, the actual problem though isn't that, although that is one of the problems. The problem is that there's just no reason for this to exist. Um, no one was clamoring for this type of gameplay. No one cares about this. No one is going to want to challenge themselves to this game. There is just isn't anything here to care about. Um, you know, our only objective is to go home, but there's just there's just no reason to go home. So if there if if you have one objective and there's no reason to pursue that objective then you don't actually have a game because there's no reason to play it. Basically, you've said, go home, and given us no reason to care about where that is, why that is, or how we're getting there. There's nothing in here. There's nothing here for us. So, in this game, your only objective is to go home. You need to be extremely cautious with each step you take as you might inadvertently fall from the sky on the next move. 
The game supports online multiplayer for functionality, allowing you and your friends to experience the thrilling parkour game together. It's not thrilling. There's no music. There's nothing in it. It's the opposite of thrilling. It is easily the most boring thing that I've ever seen. No, that's not true. I played Rock Simulator, and that was really boring, although that had a joke, I guess? This is not thrilling. I am not thrilled. I'm the opposite of thrilled. I am de-thrilled. I am bored. It is boring. Your gameplay is boring. There's nothing in it. I have no reason to care about anything that's happening. Uh, the game save function can record your achievements while also noting your mistakes. The game provides you with numerous blue blocks that can be used to pave the way and help you progress. However, be mindful while advancing as enemies may appear to catch you when you enter houses to search for supplies. Because they're important? Um, therefore, constant vigilance is crucial in the game because you never know what dangers and challenges lie ahead on your path. When you encounter difficulties time and time again, never forget your goal to go home. The game's completion time is one hour or perhaps longer. Lastly, I leave you with a famous quote. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Yeah, honestly, I would say that the game probably um, is going to be more than an hour because no one's going to be able to do it. It's terrible. The, um, the parkour is actually terrible. The controls are really bad. Um, sprinting is on a toggle, which is terrible for parkour. It's absolutely just awful. Um... And you can't climb up onto anything. So if you hit the side of it, you hit the side of it and you fall and that's the end of your run. Um, no one's going to finish this in an hour. And if they do, they're the developer or one of the developer's friends or someone. I don't know, man. It, it does only cost $7. So maybe someone out there is just so starved for a um, really, really, really tedious, boring, mediocre parkour map um, that they're willing to spend that money. But honestly... There are just like a trillion better free maps that you can get in Minecraft. If you want to do this exact kind of parkour, this exact kind of thing where it's like um, first person, high stakes, uh, if you fail, you fall into the lava or whatever. People make these kind of maps in Minecraft all the time. All the time. There's so many of them. There's no reason to be paying someone money for assets that they didn't make, for gameplay that is just nothing. Um, for parkour that you can get for free in a Minecraft server. In a Minecraft server from 10 years ago. Th this is just not worthwhile. This is a worthless game. Um, it do it's not even copying the only up formula. So it, it doesn't even fall into that genre like uh, the other clones that we've been playing. Um, the only sort of unique thing is you can place a block in the middle. And so you get to pick your platform, which is just... It's not anything... In fact, it's just another fail condition. So what you've done is you've created a situation where the player is going to fail over and over um, because uh, you haven't actually made a parkour map. You've made a parkour map with the ability for the player to edit it, which means that they can edit it for their own failure. I don't know, man. I don't know why this exists. I don't know why people keep releasing stuff like this and expecting people to... Uh, jump on it like literally and play it and enjoy it it's just bad nobody cares about your asset filled garbage that you want people to jump on not interesting so i'm gonna leave it there that's all i've got to say hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that's go home and uh if you want to check it out you can click on the link in the description otherwise leave me a comment down below subscribe to the channel like the video all that kind of stuff and i'll see you next time class dismissed <laughs>